How to Lose Weight Swimming Complete Guide and 6 Tips 6 Tips to Lose Weight with Swimming The following are some additional tips that can speed up the weight loss process through swimming. These tips are also great for spicing up your swimming workouts and making them more enjoyable on those tough days. Here is a quick list of 6 tips to lose weight with swimming. 1. Take a couple of swimming classes to learn basic swim techniques. 2. Add interval swimming to your swim workouts to burn more calories. 3. Hit the swimming pool before breakfast. 4. Increase the number of laps in each swim workout to burn extra calories. 5. Alternate your swimming workouts with weight training. 6. Follow proper nutrition to control the swimmer's appetite. 1. Take a few swimming classes. To lose weight with swimming you are actually going to need to complete a few swim workouts each week to burn those calories. If you can't swim very well, meaning being able to swim freestyle with basic technique, then it isn't going to be very easy to complete your swimming workouts and it is going to take far longer than needed. That's why I recommend taking a swim class or two, just to get the basic technique of swimming freestyle down. Additionally, you can also spend some time learning the backstroke swim technique. Even if you think you are a decent swimmer, I would still recommend going to a class just once or at least watching a couple of swimming technique videos online. You might not think so, but there is an absolute ton of little details that go into swimming good freestyle, and even most elite swimmers still work on improving their technique day in and day out. 2. Incorporate Interval Swim Training Interval swimming is a great way to get your heart rate up and burn some extra calories during your swimming workouts. It essentially means to set intervals or times for specific swim distances. For example, if you enjoy more long distance swimming type workouts, you could decide to try and swim a mile in 30 minutes or less. If you prefer shorter sprinting distances you might choose to do 10 by 50s on 50 seconds per 50. This is going to force you to swim that extra bit faster to make the timed intervals, ultimately resulting in additional calories being burned. And as we know by now, the more calories you burn, the faster you will lose weight. 3. Swim in the morning before eating. For those of you who can manage a morning swim before work or school, I highly recommend it. Not only will you feel more productive and accomplished throughout your day, but you will also have burned some extra calories. If you go for a swim in the morning, before eating anything your body will be in a fasted state, meaning it will utilize fat stores for energy since it can't pull energy from food that you have eaten throughout the day thus directly speeding up the weight loss process. 4. Crush the distance and grind out some laps in the pool. Another simple and practical way to speed up the weight loss process through swimming is going to be to increase the number of laps you swim each workout. As we said, naturally swimming burns a lot of calories due to its energy intense nature. So if you are going to be swimming say 75 to 100 laps each workout you could burn a significant number of calories. For 100 laps of freestyle swimming, you could burn up to 750 calories just by swimming at a moderate pace of about 40 seconds per lap. This means if you swam for an hour a day 5 times a week, completing a 100 lap workout you would be able to lose just over a pound per week since you will be burning 3,750 calories from your swim workouts. 5. Alternate swimming with weight training. Lifting weights is also not a bad option for burning some calories, developing some extra muscle mass, and toning up. Although swimming is superior when it comes to building cardiovascular fitness and burning calories, it could still be a good idea to combine the two in your training schedule. You can do this by swimming and lifting light to moderate weights on alternate days. Or for those of you who are up for an even bigger challenge you can try to do both on the same day or even back to back. 
This is going to allow you to get the most out of your training and receive the benefits from both training methods. 6. Drink a lot of water and consume a fair amount of protein to keep the swimmer's appetite under control. Swimmers are known for their crazy appetites. We just love to eat a lot of food and the good thing is we can afford to. For the most part, swimmers are toned and lean despite having the appetite of an elephant. The famous Olympic swimmer, Michael Phelps, was eating up to 10,000 calories per day in his younger years. This is largely due to his rough training schedule of multiple workouts per day and even training on Sundays. However, when it comes to losing weight you aren't going to want to follow in our swimmers footsteps. You see, swimmers eat to maintain their weight and to make sure their bodies are fueled and ready to perform. But as we discussed, to lose weight you have to stay in a caloric deficit. Naturally, you might feel pretty hungry after a swimming workout and therefore it is important to control your appetite to avoid overeating and exiting the calorie deficit. An easy way of doing this is by eating a lot of protein and drinking a lot of water. Naturally, if you have a high protein breakfast and eat high protein meals throughout the day you are going to feel less hungry. The same goes for drinking water. Thanks for watching. Please like share and subscribe. Don't forget to press bell icon.